morning guys what's up welcome back to another college day in my life i have not vlogged in literally well over a week and i was on like this streak where i was vlogging either every single day or i would do a college week in my life i mean i i don't know what happened last week was just really crazy for me and today is thursday so i didn't vlog anything this week either because i've just been so busy trying to balance work and school it's like my biggest challenge this semester is just trying to find that balance of like doing things that i want to do like vlogging and blogging and doing like important things like working and going to school anyway let's talk about what's new i got new glasses so i'm super excited about these um i talked about this in my last vlog that i went to target optical and picked these out two weeks ago a little less than two weeks ago um, and they came in yesterday and I went and picked them up and I love them so much I just think they're a perfect everyday pair of glasses they are Ray-Bans and they're just like a tortoise color I mostly wear contacts so I'm not gonna wear these a whole lot but I thought since they're brand new I'd wear them today and the other super exciting thing the day before yesterday and I didn't vlog it so I'm sorry but I upgraded to the iPhone 11 and I end up getting the purple one as you can see and I'm so happy that I ventured out and decided to get the purple I was like really unsure about it I was just gonna go with like white or black because before that I had rose gold for my last two phones and then I had black and then I had rose gold so I've never had an actual color before but like I don't regret it at all I love this color it is so pretty so purple's like really my thing right now I even got a purple background on it <laughs> anyways we have a lot to do today so I'm gonna pack up my backpack and we're gonna head out okay guys so I went to FGCU and I emailed the guy who does our supplemental instruction for anatomy and physiology because I go every Thursday at 10 30 and I did not hear from him um and he never posted the form online so I'm assuming that it was canceled and he just didn't tell us um, or I'm just kind of like using this as a day I don't really know but I decided to go to Panera Bread and I got a bagel and I was gonna get my iced coffee from there and she actually made my vanilla iced coffee with almond milk it was great I got it and it had all these like chunks of white stuff in it and I'm really proud of myself because instead of just taking it and driving away paying my three dollars or whatever for the coffee and not even drinking it I said something I was like hey and I was really nice about it but I was just like I think something's wrong with this coffee because it has all these little like white specks in it and she was really nice she told me that like just the almond milk's doing that for whatever reason but I've never seen that so she gave me a refund and then I just went to Starbucks and just got it and obviously there's like no little white chunks in this even though it's almond milk so I don't know what's going on with Panera Bread's almond milk. I'm back home now having my bagel working on some medical terminology homework and then I have college algebra at 1 30. Guys, I have the coziest setup ever right now. I'm just like all cozied and snuggled up on the couch. Coffee, my medical term book, and I'm just working on like the matching and the easier modules because it's just like easy to do when you're laying here. And look at this cute picture I just posted on my story because I just feel like I have the nicest little setup right now. Okay guys, I just got to school. I literally almost didn't come. I strongly considered staying home. I was just so cozy on the couch and I was feeling like really productive. I was getting a lot done. It's a review day for college algebra before our exam next week, so I have to go. I was like, I can't not go because I need this review. I'm really not doing so well in that class. I just woke up from a very much needed nap and I was not planning on taking a nap, but I got some kind of unfortunate-ish news about a topic that I have not ever talked to you guys about. But really briefly, I'm going to kind of spill the news. I was born with a congenital heart defect called pulmonic stenosis. It's just a narrowing of the pulmonic valve. And when I was younger, about four years old, I had to have a surgery called angioplasty where they just blow it up to kind of expand it so that way the blood can flow through. Long story short, here we are 20 years later and I am having some complications with it. Um, I've just been having like some lightheadedness at random times throughout the day, but mostly when I exert myself at the gym. And I didn't really think anything of it, but I hadn't seen a cardiologist in several years and I'm supposed to go every single year for the rest of my life. I just haven't had health insurance, um, but I finally do have health insurance again. So I went and saw a cardiologist and I had an echocardiogram done and found out that I am going to have to have something done because my valve is like 
regurgitating blood back into my right ventricle. Um, it's supposed to only come out. It's really funny because I actually just did like all things heart anatomy in my AMP2 class. So, so while my cardiologist was like telling me what's happening, I'm like, yeah, like it makes sense. I, I know about this now, but never thought I'd actually be hearing it about myself. So I don't know exactly what the plan is. He has to talk to some congenital heart surgeons and kind of come up with a game plan. I don't know if there, if it's going to be a non-invasive procedure or if it could be open heart surgery. And honestly, I'm trying really hard not to think about it because it's really, really scary. Just never thought that I would be going through this at this age, but here we are. <laughs> I'm just trying to stay positive and not like think about it too much but i think that's why when i got home from college algebra i was like i'm just going to sleep i need a nap like i didn't want to think about anything and i didn't want to do anything important because i was just in like a mood and it's actually 5:56 right now so i need to go and I am so freaking tired I've been just non-stop doing college algebra homework for the last two hours on FaceTime with my sister who's like teaching me how to do these probably very simple problems that I just like don't know how to do but I'm going to bed so I will talk to you guys in the morning I'm gonna like continue this vlog probably for a couple days so We are at PDQ, not Los Pollos Hermanos. <laughs> um, Chad and I have been watching Breaking Bad, and if you watch that, then you know, like, PDQ. Like, it kind of looks like that. Um, but they have zucchini fries here, and they are so good. Delicious. I got a chicken sandwich. Chad and I went and had lunch, and then we went to Target Optical because I needed them to adjust my new glasses. They were like drooping down here and they're supposed to be up here and now I feel like they're sitting a little bit crooked like I feel like they're going this way um I don't know I just made a cup of coffee and I'm about to start doing my college algebra homework I have so much of it to do Chad's gonna be playing xbox so I'm gonna be super jealous while I'm working on my homework but look what came in the mail I ordered this online about a week ago and I am so freaking excited it's obviously just a whiteboard attached to an easel so that way I can study and use it um, while it's standing up I don't really have a whole lot of room in my office for it um, but I'm just kind of making it work because this is so useful for when I am like studying different things for anatomy and physiology or even if I want to like solve some of my math equations out and then you can see my to-do list for today and then I have several really cute sweaters and just like fall things that I'm going to be sharing on my Instagram story either later today or tomorrow. Um, these are all Amazon finds so I cannot freaking wait to show you guys. proud of myself I just solved this equation um, where you had been given two points and then you had to find the line parallel to it and they give you the equation um, and I got it right I'm so proud of myself I could shed a tear okay I have been working on math homework for like two hours straight and I'm still not through with it I'm really really close but I'm doing functions of f and g and then determining their domains and it's really confusing me shocker so my sister is going to help me with it tonight. She's been like the biggest savior in this college algebra class because she's taken like pre-calculus and calc one and two and all of that because she's a pre-med major. So she just knows how to do a lot of this and it's really helpful. But she lives in Tampa so I have to FaceTime her to get help. So now I'm going to take a break from this and I'm going to go work on my medical terminology homework because I'm still not finished with that. It never ends. And it's Friday. So I really want to go get ice cream tonight and... Chad's like taking a nap right now and I just like sent him a picture of this pumpkin spice shake from Culver's and I just wrote I want I'm hoping he'll take a hint and 
we can go to Culver's tonight. We just finished eating dinner and now Chad's gonna play Xbox and I have to keep doing schoolwork. <laughs> it never ends. Never. Why is this thing not focusing very well at all? Hi, pumpkin. Come on. Hi, pumpkin. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna stay here instead. This is a life. I am making us chocolate covered strawberries dessert because Chad said we're not going to Culver's. <laughs> and then I'm also gonna dip some mango and pineapple chunks because I'm gonna have extra chocolate. You guys probably can't even see me right now, but I am driving to Starbucks at eight o'clock at night because our internet randomly decided to go out. I don't even know what happened, but I got through my 50 question time test, end up getting a 100 on it, and then when I like refresh the page where your score shows up, like it just wasn't showing up. So I got no credit for that. Okay, you will not believe this. What are the freaking odds? So I just walked up to the Starbucks, right there, and there's like all this construction going on, the door's wide open, there's like dusty tools everywhere and like I can see some men like in the back and I'm like okay clearly something's going on here they must not be open so I'm just kind of standing there and I see some other people walk up sure enough they closed at seven today I guess they're doing something construction related but seriously what are the freaking odds of that happening when I just drove all the way here I've been back home for a while now and I retook both of my tests. I ended up not getting 100, of course. I got like a 98 on the first one and a 98 on the second one. So that was that. And now I am studying the lymphatic system for anatomy and physiology. So I'm just like reading up on my notes and then I'm using this study guide that my lab professor gave us to kind of create some digital flashcards. 